Hey guys, Matt here, and I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of introduce a really cool thing that's been happening lately. Um, one of our executive producers on Discord has actually been making Anki decks for the entire main JLPT series on the channel. So all of the vocab videos, grammar videos, and now kanji videos. Um, Elro, <laughs> the magician Elro that I've mentioned previously um, in other videos, He's actually been working on all of these um, absolutely beautiful Anki decks um, for the channel. And so I thought that it is definitely something that is worth actually highlighting and kind of letting everyone know that this is something that is actually available for you guys to use to help you um, with your study on this channel because all of the content that we cover um, in the videos, they're all in these Anki decks and they really are like one of the most beautiful series of Anki decks I've ever seen. <laughs> um, they look just like um, the actual YouTube videos themselves with the same design philosophy and everything um, and they are so incredibly useful for your study. So I just thought, hey, let's make a video to kind of highlight the awesome work that Elro has been doing um, for both uh, you know the community, uh, both in the Discord as well as the community you know, on, on YouTube. So these Anki decks right here um, is kind of a, a product of <laughs> um, Elro's kind of love for the information in the videos that we have on, 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 on the series, but also him wanting to put that information in a more studyable manner, right? Because the videos are very big and there's lots of information, but how do you actually review that information in a quick and easy way? How do you actually practice yourself with that information? And so he decided that he was going to make these um, amazing Anki decks for himself. Um, that was his original plan and like, he, he, he has a love for audio design and, and video design. Uh, he actually does that for his, his work. And so he kind of used his design background to kind of make these really, really, really well formatted and just frankly incredible Anki decks um, for himself. And then he realized, hey, let's share these around in the Discord, the Game Gengo Discord, and a lot of people really liked them. And so he's been starting to actually restructure the entire Anki deck so that they're useful for everyone. So let's have a look at kind of, you know, what has been the, the results of his hard work because he's put in some really hard work to actually get these um, Anki decks all designed really well to actually help you and, 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 and have the flow of, of language and everything be really well and helping you in, in your language practice. So let's have a look here. So the first of the three types that we have here is grammar. So the first series that I made was the grammar series and that's the first series that we're looking at here with the with the Anki decks. Now when you begin the Anki deck you actually get a custom welcome card um, that kind of introduces you to the deck as well as even has its own customly recorded Game Gengo intro <laughs> uh, for that Anki deck. So we can see in this intro card that we have all of the information about how to actually use the cards because there's quite a lot of information on them. So first we can see um, that we can have a look at the link tree for Game Gengo. Now on this link tree, it has all of the links for connecting to anything Game Gengo related, but there's also a link uh, to connect to Elro uh, in case someone wants to support Elro's hard work that is, I think, creating an absolutely incredible resource um, for people wanting to learn Japanese um, through both Game Gengo and also being able to actually study that um, with Anki. Elro is putting in like hundreds of hours of work just to make these Anki decks. It's insane. Like I could not do this. I don't have the time. It's impossible, right? So this is all thanks to him that he's making these decks using all the information from my videos and just making an absolutely amazing resource. So if you want to kind of, you know, support Elro for all of his hard work and if you find these Anki decks helpful with your study, please consider um, buying him a coffee here on buymeacoffee.com um, and kind of, you know, support him for this insane amount of work. Um, that he has actually said that he can plans on continuing uh, as well. We'll see, you know, um, <laughs> you know, uh, it's it, this is his own kind of personal project that he's been working on. So just, I am nothing but grateful for, for for the work that he's been putting in. And so if you guys are grateful as well, please consider um, helping him out. So next we actually have the cards. So when you first have your grammar card, you can see here that we have. Um, the sentence that is pulled from the grammar that I taught. So just the sentence by itself with the grammar here being highlighted in the exact same color scheme that we have in the video. So 
What you do here is you read the sentence, and you can either check if you understand just the grammar by itself, or you can read the whole sentence if you want to get some reading practice. And so you can see in the top right corner, it has the text of the game that the example comes from. And in the top left hand corner, there's even a link that takes you directly to um, the Game Gengo kind of hub of links on Linktree. And here you can see all of the links, you know, for Game Gengo related content, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, whatever. And there's also the link uh, to support Elro if you want to check it out there. So once you've kind of checked your recognition, your, your understanding of the grammar or the sentence, you then click show answer. And so as you can see, once you click that, you see a kind of summary of all of the breakdown of, of the piece of grammar. So you can see the grammar by itself at the top, that's your main focus. And then we have the English translation. So you can see what the English um, definition is for this grammar point. So here we have this example. And then underneath, we actually have a play button for the audio. So if you want, you can actually replay that audio that actually plays in the scene. Um, sometimes it's a dubbing, whether I've dubbed that line myself or whether it's the exact audio that is from the game. So you can replay this as many times as you want. Then underneath is that same exact sentence that you saw previously. However, this time it has furigana. So now you can actually go through the whole sentence and perhaps there's a reading that you couldn't read when you were trying the first time. Now you can actually check and go, ah, there it is, I understand. After that, we also have the sentence translation with the actual uh, color coding as well for the grammar to really nail in the feeling of you know what the grammar means so you can you know feel confident using it but that's not Oh, it's absolutely insane. Already just looking at this, it's beautiful, right? It looks absolutely fantastic. But if you click this grammar button at the bottom, you will also be able to have one, a quick summary of the information um, for this grammar point, and two, a button that you can press to take you directly to my explanation in the video. <laughs> How insane is that? So all you have to do is click on this watch on Game Gengo button right here, and this will take you directly to the explanation of this grammar point, right? You don't have to search for it. If you are like, oh, I can't remember what this grammar point means. I can't remember, you know, why or whatever. All you have to do is just click on this button and it will take you straight to the explanation uh, on the video. And so this deck has two card types. The first card type is testing your reading. So you see the reading of the sentence with the grammar first, and then you have the answers. And the next type is listening. So you listen to the audio and try and see if you can understand the sentence as well as the grammar. Next, we have the vocab deck. Now the vocab deck is exactly the same where it has that intro card at the beginning. So you can you know, skip that if you want, or you can have a read of all the information that's um, in the deck. Then after that, you go straight into learning the vocab or reviewing the vocab. So this vocab deck has been created with the expectation that you've already seen this episode um, on the Game Gengo YouTube channel and you're just kind of getting some review. And so first what plays is the audio, right? So to kind of remind you of that sentence, listening practice and see, you know, what was that line again? Oh, what is the word? And try and see if you can pick it out. So you listen to the audio example and then it shows you all the answers. And so the answers here are the sentence that just played with uh, Furigana on top and then the English translation underneath, as well as the play button. So you can play over and over again if you want to make sure to check uh, practice your listening uh, of that sentence. So here, the vocab hasn't been highlighted, uh, one, because it's an insane amount of work, but also because it's made with the expectation that you've already seen the video uh, on Game Gango and now you're kind of just reviewing that sentence and kind of checking your listening practice and reading practice. And just like the grammar cards, there is a second card type. And here we have the reading first without any audio. And just like the last time, if you click show answer, it will now show you all of the information and play the audio. So you can see that this deck here is going to help you with your listening practice, your reading practice, also remind you about the vocab and um, also help you with your sentence breakdown. Next is my personal favorite and also Elro's favorite uh, Anki deck. And this one is for the Kanji series and it is oh, it's good it's real good <laughs> so as we can see right here already looking absolutely beautiful look at that that looks fantastic right so first we can see the big kanji on the screen so the goal is to remember what does this kanji mean and perhaps how can you read it underneath we have the word that it is connected to right because remember 
in the kanji series, I don't just teach you kanji by itself, I actually teach it connected to a word, because this is what's going to actually help you remember the context and perhaps even how some of those readings are read. So here we have uh, an example here where the word is connected, the word is in white, and then the kanji that's being used is here highlighted. You can also see, just like in the um, the other decks, you can see that the game name as well as the link uh, for the Game Gengo link tree, so you can connect to everything right there. Now there's also the sentence underneath. So this is underneath because it's not the primary focus, it's not the main thing you should be worrying about. The main thing you should be worrying about is, what is this kanji? What do you think it means? What's the reading? Have a look at the word. What do you think the correct reading is for this situation, like in this reading for this word, right? And if you want, you can also have sentence reading practice as well. After this, you then just click show answer. And now we see the real beauty of this deck. This is absolutely insane, okay? So look at this. So first we have the kanji just like before. Underneath though, we actually have the information that I cover in the kanji videos where we can see this reading and then how many times this reading is used in the top 10,000 useful word list uh, that's from kanshudo.com. Same information that I have uh, in the actual video itself. So immediately you get reminded of how useful this reading is. And then we have the kanji being used with its connecting word or, or vocabulary. And here this vocabulary piece of language has the furigana attached to it as well to remind you of the reading. Underneath we have the English translation as well as it being color coded all together so you get that kind of instant connection with the reading, the kanji and the meaning in this context. So you just get it all summarized together nice and easy. It's so beautiful. Again underneath we have the sentence so you can see the sentence if you want to get that practice as well as an audio button and the translation. But it doesn't end there, okay? This deck is amazing. Underneath, we have a summary of every single reading for this kanji that's been covered in the video. So you can get an instant kind of summary, breakdown, reminder of all of the readings this kanji has, just in case you forgot, you're like, oh wait, what was the other reading? Boom, you can get that reminder. But also, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can even see the stroke order of this kanji. So you can actually have a look and practice the stroke order if you want, uh, if you want to get that kind of practice with how to write the kanji. One other really cool thing that I forgot to mention is seen here with the kanji cards. So when you're in the testing phase, right, in the very beginning where you see the kanji and you're like, whoa, what is this? You can actually hover your mouse over that kanji and instantly see the furigana for just that kanji. So if, for example, you want to just cheat just a little bit, you just want to get reminded just a little bit of what the reading is, maybe you're more focused on the concept rather than the reading itself, you can do that just by hovering over that kanji, boom, you have the furigana reading for it. Just, oh, just absolutely beautiful. So this kanji um, deck is just incredible. I would definitely say uh, the kanji deck is absolutely the top tier uh, deck right here. The grammar is also absolutely fantastic. And then the vocab is there to kind of help remind you of the sentences and breakdowns and everything. Very, very useful Anki decks. And this has taken an insane amount of work. Like you may look at this and think, oh, okay, it's just a picture. It's just some kanji, boom, bada bing, easy. No, it's not. He has put an insane amount of work into all of this, right? Like an insane amount of work. Some of these pictures he has even um, redone himself. Sometimes he even photoshops the images to kind of fit the theme like he's done in the Animal Crossing where he actually uh, photoshopped the actual text box himself for Animal Crossing. He's also gone through a ton of coding in order to make this look the way it does because like, look at it, it looks absolutely insane. Even going so far as to perfectly align the image for every individual image so that it looks the best it can uh, on this preview so it's not like half cut off or anything. Just an absolute true perfectionist but I think it shows that what he's been doing is absolutely incredible and 100% worth you guys checking out using as a review for the channel. Um, again, don't know how long he's going to be doing it for, but seriously, if you love this kind of thing, please consider supporting him. It's absolutely incredible. Um, it really is a way of actually turning all of the language that I cover in the video to some sort of actual studyable resource, right? Something you can actually just do as a part of your daily rep and you can get that study. And I've never seen an Anki deck that looks anything better than this. This is absolutely incredible. No Anki deck is as beautiful as this, in my opinion. It is perfect. Something I am proud to say is the official uh, Game Gengo Anki decks. So 
Uh, as long as Oro continues this, you guys are going to have an absolutely incredible resource here uh, for helping you um, learn all of this information. Um, so please consider uh, supporting him and also please consider joining the uh, the Game Gengo Discord to get kind of early access for some of this stuff. Because on the Discord, um, this is where we kind of, you know, we all work together as a community. We have, you know, all kinds of um, ideas. We share them with each other and we go through testing phases. So if you want to get kind of, you know, the very first, you know, access access to anything, early access, that type of stuff. All of that is done um, on our Game Gengo Discord by signing up through Patreon to become a Game Gengo member. And so all of the members kind of get this early access. However, um, I certainly will be trying to, to put these on the videos as soon as they come out. Uh, for example, the N4 grammar video um, has been out for a while now. It's been out for a couple of weeks. Um, and the deck has also been finished for a while now, but I just, I've been so busy been hard to kind of, to kind of actually you know link it all up and so in this video if you want to download these decks all of the decks that we've have done so far are all going to be available um, in the video description and for every other future Unki deck I'll be putting them in the uh, the description for the video um, for every video that has an Unki deck for it. That being said though, it does take some time, so it, there is a little bit of a delay. It definitely is not gonna come out as soon as the video is. And if you wanna get that you know, early access for everything, then consider um, joining us on Discord and becoming a member of, of the Game Gengo community. So as you can see, just absolutely incredible Unki deck that is, I, I I could not not make this video right. I had to showcase just how incredible uh, this work is, and and it truly has been a lot of work for him to kind of go through all of the trial and error of uh, you know the coding and making sure it all works and making sure not only that it works for standard Anki but also for Mac and um, even the uh, kind of legacy uh, other versions that um, are used for like speech to text for the browser and things like that. Um, he even made custom decks just for those people who use that version of Anki, so the Anki web version, so just absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys enjoy this Anki deck and hopefully it helps you uh, with your study of Japanese as well as your review of all of the videos. So that's it for today, just a quick one just to kind of let you guys know about this Anki deck uh, series that Elro's been creating because it's just absolutely incredible. So a huge shout out, thank you very much Elro for all of your hard work um, on these Anki decks. Uh, I'm sure that they're helping countless people uh, with you know their studies and their review so thank you so much for all of your hard work and thank you everyone for uh, enjoying the recent videos that I've been making um, with both the uh, the Animal Crossing video and the Kanji video uh, the Animal Crossing one was uh, I can't believe you guys actually managed to watch all of that I'm very sorry uh, how long it was unfortunately the beginning of the game was a little bit stale um, <laughs> and it was just one scene the whole time um, but next vocab um, episode we have is going to be much more interesting and uh, kind of action and, and quickly changing the scene so I hope you guys enjoyed that and huge thank you everyone for enjoying the kanji series I'm so glad you guys um, have enjoyed the launch of the kanji series so far um, it's, it's so cool uh, how people have actually been enjoying it because I was thinking to myself how do I make you know the 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 most boring kanji interesting right <laughs> like the beginning kanji um, uh, for some people for a lot of people uh, if, if, if you saw that, you know, this is what the video is about, you'd probably not watch it because it's like, ah, oh, I don't want to watch, you know, those really basic beginner kanji. So I'm really glad that I've been able to make something which is both entertaining and educational for you guys uh, for, you know, the kanji, even the most simplest kanji. And I can guarantee you that it's only going to get more and more interesting uh, as we go on because, you know, we're going to have you know all kinds of uh, more complicated kanji and, and we're gonna have a little bit more breakdowns of all of the radicals and everything so uh, it's a very very enjoyable thing uh, one thing I just kind of want to tack on just at the end here is that I'm also thinking about doing a similar style for the grammar series because I absolutely killed myself to get that grammar video out and it took two months of just non-stop all day every day 12 14 hour day work just to get that video out meanwhile you guys aren't getting any content, right? You're not getting anything to help you um, or entertain you, right? So what I'm thinking is for the N3 grammar video, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do it similar to the kanji video where I release a section at a time, right? That way you're still gonna be able to get that content. Um, it's gonna be the same thing that it's gonna be anyway, but just you're gonna get it piece by piece. And then later I can compile them all together into just this one mega video. Uh, so you can still get that mega video, um, but instead it's going to be kind of more in the future once I've finished 
doing part by part. I think that's just going to be more healthy for me, it's going to be more healthy for everyone, instead of, you know, not getting a video for seven months, and then all of a sudden here, boom, here's a 14 hour video, <laughs> right, instead of doing that to you. Um, we'd rather get it in parts and then later you can have this one big video to kind of review everything um, that you know may have you, know, you may have been watching for a, a quite a you know, long period of time maybe several months or even a year right so I think that's gonna probably work out better for everyone but anyway thank you so much everyone for enjoying the channel and you know enjoying learning Japanese with video games and game gango I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you know what we've been doing and, and, and the community that we've been growing and, and just thank you so much guys everyone for all of you know all of your support and you know enjoying what I'm doing because I'm just I'm just sharing my love for you know my favorite things in life right I love Japanese I love video games um, I love teaching and and I just love that I can and I love video editing so I just love just being able to put all those passions together and and, and have you guys enjoy that so seriously genuinely thank you so much um, for enjoying you know everything I've been doing and uh, yeah I hope you guys continue to enjoy everything I've got planned for the future I also have some game review type things that I really want to do so I'm gonna try and get that out soon because I have some games that I just absolutely love that I think you guys really got to know about so uh you know we'll be looking at that soon so i hope you guys enjoy that thank you very much everyone i hope you'll continue to enjoy studying japanese and i'll see you all again next time see ya